Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back. I really apologize for um, being gone all this time. I've had a couple of exams that I have to get over. And looking at your syllabus, oh, God, you have guys been um, um, through fucked up grammar, uh, through a lot of um, topics. And I think I'll try as much as I can to post all of them tonight. And so um, I hope I can catch up to where you're, you guys are at. Uh, let me show you here. So you uh, have finished all of this in red. Um, here it says 13th and the 14th. Today is the 14th. And I'll try my best to cover all of those topics and post the videos on the YouTube channels for your review. And because it'll be nice for you guys to have it uh, just before the uh, beginning of the um, uh, vacation because I think there's an oral exam just after the vacation. So I, I, I apologize again and again and again for being gone this this much, um, but I'll make up for you guys. Um, okay, so just another thing is that I have a new book um, that may help you or aid you in studying. And it has every single thing that you've got on your uh, muscle uh, syllabus. And it's called uh, Dissection uh, Room One. And so if you're interested in purchasing it, uh, please let me know. Okay, so let's dive into this. Um, and yeah, before diving into it, actually, I have one, one, one more uh, information to share. I have been doing this for a while now, and uh, the university has recognized what I'm doing. And so I've included them um, under our... Uh, mm, include them on, uh, to, to look at what we're doing. And so they've, um, we've, the, the part of the university that is involved in this right now is called IFMSA, uh, where we have registered what basically we're doing for the students of first year as a, as a program um, that will be hopefully continued um, for every first year that attends um, through every year uh, from now until, let's say, hopefully I, resign from doing this. But this is the news I'll be sharing. And so if you see the logo of IFMSA, the beginning of every video of mine, just so you know that they're part and they're looking over this and they're also supplying us with um, financial uh, help if we wanna create social events for you guys and stuff like that. So many cool stuff coming in. So let's get into it. Okay. Uh, the word was right. All right, so let's just, do this. So on the right, right here, I have the notes that I, um, that you guys know that the book that I saw and on the left are just my previous own notes that I used to study from, or, you know, I used to type my notes, put pictures together and just get everything in one place before I type out my speech. So uh, without further ado, so the oral cavity the oral cavity, by, by what it suggests, it's, a, it's the cavity that with, with, is within um, the boundaries of your mouth. So uh, it is divided into two parts, the vestibule and the mouth proper. And there, those are two different areas within your uh, mouth region, just, just between your cheeks. So the vestibule of the mouth or the labial cavity is an area, is, it's a very narrow cleft, like space between lips and cheeks and the gums. Internally, so it, it's it's basically a space that that surrounds everything um, anterior to the teeth and posterior to the uh, skin that we have um, that you guys see. So that that space between, let's say, the lips and the gums, or the cheeks and the gums, uh, or the cheeks and the and the teeth, um, or the lips and the teeth, is called the vestibule. Okay, and it's labeled right here for you guys. Now, the cavity of the mouth, uh, it's the buccal cavity, okay? So it's roof. Now, now, we have a lot of things to pay attention to. There's a lot of structures in this, in this region. The roof is formed by both the hard and soft palate. The hard palate is found anterior to the soft palate, which is found posterior to that. Um, and so the roof ends at the posterior part with the ovula. You see the dingling part um, in the uh, 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 mouth uh, called the ovula, okay? Uh, that's that makes up the roof. That the floor is formed mainly by the tongue, and the reflection of the uh, mucous membrane from its sides to the gums. Uh, below this mucous membrane lie the sublingual uh, salivary glands and the mylohyoid 
uh, muscle. So you've got um, you've got the tongue, you've got the uh, mucous membrane, and then you've got below the sublingual uh, salivary glands and the malhydrate muscle. The sublingual salivary glands empty their contents uh, into the mouth at the um, uh, through the posterior uh, mucosal surface uh, by, of course, um, let's say holes that are found um, in the um, lingulum. Uh, and I'll tell you about this in the future, uh, just in a bit. So it, its sites are formed by the dental arches carrying the uh, teeth. So the cavity of the mouth is basically anything that is found medially or posteriorly to the teeth. Okay, so that's the uh, mouth proper. Okay, and so its sites are formed by the dental arches carrying the teeth. Uh, the buccal cavity communicates posteriorly with the oropharynx through the oropharyngeal isthmus. So the oropharynx, so what we have is vestibule, right? Then comes oral cavity. Then the posterior, the most posterior aspect is called the oropharynx. The oropharynx is basically the first part of the pharynx. And we will gonna discuss this shortly in an upcoming video, okay? That's just a basic idea of the oral cavity. And I'll just dive into details uh, from my notes uh, from the previous year. Now, what we have here is that, um, uh, what we have here is that um, the anterior view uh, let's just dive into it this way. Uh, I'll just go to my speech because it's the most um, most condensed part of, of my notes. And so I will just read something from it and then point out where the structures are. So the oral cavity in the oral vestibule form the basis of the human uh, oral opening in the alimentary canal. Did you see how I started general? So um, I, I told him that uh, these are the first start of where the food enters and, and, and is the main opening towards the um, uh, entering the elementary canal. The uh, oral cavity proper is bounded by the heart and soft palate on the superior border. As we mentioned here, the roof is the heart and soft palate. These separate the oral cavity from the nasal cavity. As you all know that my nose, I'm breathing in, this air goes into the nasal cavity. And then so what separates that nasal cavity where the air takes, where, where is, which is the air passage, uh, from the uh, oral cavity, which is the food passage, or also air passage, is the hard and soft palate. And so this forms the uh, uh, roof. And then so um, uh, these separate the oral cavity from the nasal cavity, as I said. The uh, soft palate ends, the, uh, ends uh, with the ovula that has the tonsils near it. So uh, the ovula, as I said, is the dingling part that when you open your mouth, there's a dingling part. Um, and, and that dingling part is called the uh, soft palate, uh, uh, the ovula, which is the most posterior par uh, part of the soft palate. And so you can see here, um, that's the ovula. When you open your mouth, that's the ovula. So you have this part, the hard palate, then it comes the soft palate, and then comes the, um, so uh, the ovula. And then so most posterior to that is the oropharynx, which is the most superior part of the pharynx. Okay. Um, next, we have... Um, uh, tonsils, we mentioned tonsils. So you guys are going to discuss a ring called, uh, I don't know what the ring was called, but um, basically there are um, two, 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 there's eight pairs of tonsils that exist within that region of oropharynx, just close to the ovula. And uh, the most closest that I, I, I think of is either the palatine tonsils or the lingual tonsils that are close to the ovula. Okay, the posterior part, uh, border of the oral cavity is the oropharynx, as we mentioned, is the most superior part of the pharynx, um, is close to the epiglottis that covers the windpipe and prevents entry of the food into it. So remember that the epiglottis, of course, it's part of the um, larynx um, and it's part of the laryngopharynx, that which is part of the pharynx. Um, and so the epiglottis is is that structure, that, that cartilage, that cartilaginous structure. It is a non-paired cartilaginous structure that closes the windpipe so that nothing goes into um, the uh, nothing goes into um, in, uh, uh, into the windpipe uh, as a form of food. So just don't mention this here because he will probably trick you there. But I just mentioned it just for more information, so I know where this these are located. So the oropharynx. Um, uh, is close, of course, to the uh, the posterior border of the oral cavity is oropharynx, which is close, which is close to the epiglottis. Okay, the floor of the mouth. Now, the floor of the mouth is made up of the tongue and form uh, forms the inferior border of the oral cavity proper. Okay, so of course, the floor, as I mentioned here, uh, is made up of the tongue. Below that is the mucosal membrane. Below that is the sublingual salivary glands and the mylohyoid muscle. 
lateral borders, sorry, no, sorry. Uh, um, yeah, so the anterior border of the mouth is made up of the teeth and the gums. Uh, also the lateral borders, as, as mentioned here, is also made up of the cheeks and the teeth, okay? Now, mm, well, I, I would not say the cheeks here, I, I was mistaken. So the lateral borders of the oral cavity is made up of the teeth and the gums. Because remember, everything posterior medial to the teeth is the oral cavity proper. Anything anterior and lateral to the teeth is the vestibule, okay? Uh, then we have the oral vestibule. That's the second part that we're gonna discuss. The oral vestibule, on the other hand, is between the teeth and the gum on the medial border, the cheek on the lateral border, and lips on the superior and inferior borders. So you see? So everything that surrounds it on the anterior side of it or the lateral side of it is the skin and anything medial and um, posterior to it is the teeth. That's the oral vestibule. Um, the oral vestibule meet the um, internal uh, uh, maxillary curvature on the uh, posterior aspect. Okay. Uh, the connection between the um, inferior lip and the gum is called the inferior labial frenulum. So within the vestibule, you see that there, there's there's like a frenulum that connects the inferior lip with the with the inferior part of uh, part of the gum. You can actually touch it right here mm, with your tongue. You can actually feel it. Um, it's called the inferior labial frenulum, and superiorly between the superior lip and the superior part of the gum is called the superior labial frenulum. Um, the connection between the tongue itself and the floor of the of the mouth or the mucosal uh, part. There's also that that frenulum called the lingual. Frenulum. So we learned that there's three frenulums here, inferior labial frenulum, uh, superior labial frenulum, and the lingual frenulum. So labial from lips, labial from lips, lingual from tongue. Okay, there we go. Next, we finished uh, the, the vestibule, general idea, we finished the oral cavity, general idea. Uh, now we're going to talk about something additional that you can just speak if, if, you don't, if you're out of uh, things to say. The part where the nasal cavity connects with the oropharynx is called the nasopharynx. Okay, and this is where the connection to the auditory tube comes in. So the nasal cavity is connected to uh, the oropharynx, it's posterior part of the uh, oral cavity. Um, that that sup most superior part is called the nasopharynx. And, and, and the auditory tube um, opening uh, is found in the nasopharynx, uh, okay? Uh, we also want to mention the uh, portic gland, the submandibular gland, the sublingual, sublingual gland. Um, that are connected to this region. So you see that the saliva, that production within our mouth is due to those salivary glands. Um, the portal duct, as we've mentioned, um, it releases substances into the, mouth of the, uh, into the mouth from the cheek at the level of the second molar tooth. Okay, and you can... All right, uh, uh, so uh, just to like give him some more information. Um, you can just state some functions of the structures that are involved as you have described already. The mouth is an opening, the kind where the food enters, of course, used in chemosensory as chemosensory organ, modification of sound, respiration, uh, lips, side of entry food, speech, tongue, uh, which is also speech, digestion, swallowing, and then teeth, mastication. Oral cavity proper, vestibule, and all good, okay? Um, this is, this is basically it for the oral cavity proper and the oral vestibule. And, and this part right here is actually very sufficient for, for giving him a general idea. And I think he will love just you saying this. If he needs more information, you've got my own notes here for your own reading. Um, and so, yeah, and everything that you see here is basically discussed with you guys. Um, yeah, that's the oral vestibule. Um, these pictures are very, are very good, actually. Uh, you see here the oral cavity is right there. Um, the hard palate is separating the nasal cavity from the proper ca oral cavity. These are the glands, submandibular glands, submandibular uh, sublingual gland. Um, the, uh, again, the uh, frenulums, the ovula, the tonsils we mentioned, and then functions of the oral cavity. Uh, muscles involved here, the salivary grant, sal uh, the enzymes involved, uh, some more functions, the vestibule organ, um, in in some features of it, and then just that's that's just my um, condensed speech for your use. Okay, uh, as I said, 
this this was it for for the oral cavity in the vestibule. If you're interested in this book, please shoot me a message and wait for an upcoming video very soon. And let's go tackle this.